Our team is OG Boss Lady. My name is Jenna Abdul Jabber. I'm Tebby Hanley. I'm Owen Davey. I'm Melina Charlianza. And I'm Bai Today, we are going to be showing you our project. Our project is tackling carbon emissions and it combines education with a call to physical action. We have created technology and the nature side of things not only to um, improve our world, but to attract younger audience and get them hands on with uh, the world around them. It is estimated that around 7 million people each year die from pollution. Our goal is to reduce carbon, carbon emissions. We hope to plant 1,000 trees in different countries with high carbon footprint, which would overall help in reducing pollution. By reducing pollution, our goal is to save energy, plants, and animals, and human lives. So here we have an interactive carbon emissions map, which actually shows data throughout the years. Okay. One of the most important things of this project is we wanted to reach out. We wanted to make sure that volunteer organizations, ones that are actually making an impact in our world, are aware of not only what we're trying to do, but are also able to help us and under, help us understand and what, what can we do to help improve in this spot. We reached out via email to seven of them, and we are hoping that through the feedback that they give, that we are able to help not only improve our product, but hope that they can provide Excellent feedback. Here we have some actions that you can take. Planting at home was our main focus. So if you scroll up, you can find our plant sensor, which we actually have a storefront that you can buy from. So here's our storefront and it's interactive. It's good for the customer. And to speak to uh, Ambition, we actually have this linked to a PayPal. And now we're gonna show you our plant game. This is to get more of the user experience, more hands-on kind of stuff. So first we're gonna choose our plant. I'm gonna push choose plant. Now we're gonna connect to our sensor. And to get the Lux. Uh, the Lux is a light uh, memory plan. So submit. There we go. And now we're connected with Sam. Also remember that that's, um, the Lux was 500 in theory because this data is going to be saved later on, which we'll be able to show you. So the temperature is 77 degrees. We're going to submit for that. If you scroll down, it shows that um, the lighting is bad, but the temperature is perfect. So in the middle, each plant has its own specific sprites or character. And based on the color of your plant, if it's like solid green, it means it's perfect. If it's gray, that means that it's not doing so well. Hence why it's gray right now, because the lighting is not really helping it right now. And one of the most important things that we wanted to emphasize is that we are actually, these trackers, each client can have multiple or one. In this case, we have one tracker that is located in Highland. So as we can see, the map shows. This data is fetched and it dynamically will update. So whenever you send the data, it will be stored into this map. You can see it from here. This is powered by a database in the back end. So we are able to essentially support being able to add more and more in the future well. And then um, we wanted to be able to connect it. We also made a virtual experience through Unity that I'm sure you'd want to talk about. Oh, so this is the real-time Unity. So say you want to put on a virtual reality headset and see how the plant's doing in real time. So our mission is to have each plant here be hooked up as the uh, sensors. So it'll be displayed in real time in virtual reality. So not only you get to see the data, you get to be able to see what it actually might look like. And this is a fully immersive experience and we're able to walk around and everything and in the future we'll be able to integrate it with our actual information so thank you for watching our video we enjoy making this project so thank you very much